Mars, Thanksgiving, of course, you know that. We're mm -hmm. getting things started just a little bit early as we usually do for our annual trimmings on 10 traditions. Uh, Christina brought there are two dishes that look delicious as always. We both tend to make the same thing now. You know why? Because year year, right? they do well, right? When we bring That's them right. in, they Baked. go quickly. Mm -hmm. So I have the Italian breaded mushrooms right here and I have green bean casserole. First with the Italian breaded mushrooms, this is a family favorite and it's an old family recipe. Both my Italian grandmas always had this on the table. It was a staple. And it's basically just white mushrooms that you cook down and boil them. You've got your breadcrumbs, Parmesan, garlic is the key here. A lot of mm -hmm. garlic, salt and pepper to taste, Parmesan cheese, as I mentioned as well. So that really makes the dish come together. And you cook it for about 45 minutes. Green oh, bean good. casserole right here. Okay, so everybody makes this. But when I bring this in, it goes like that. So do the mushrooms, though, even though I know Ryan doesn't really like mushrooms. That's why I made the green bean casserole, because Ryan will eat it. Really simple. You <laughs> just have your green beans. True. You've got the cream of mushroom soup, uh, the French fried onions. That really makes it. And I always put a splash of Worcestershire sauce, something my yeah. mom told me to do, and a tiny bit of milk. And you cook it for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. That little umami, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But these are popular dishes each year. That's why we like to make That's the right. same things, because I love your sweet potato souffle, which we've moved over. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. So we know when you're cooking multiple dishes, it can be hard to find the right schedule. Right? I make the meal every year. You do too, right? Oh, I have help. Okay, yeah, you have my help. My mother-in-law helps out too. Right, but, but it's hard. Award-winning chef Rick Orlando has a trick that might come in handy here. Listen. I make my vegetables sometimes a day before. I make butternut squash, I make roasted beets, I make roasted Brussels sprouts. I put them in pans with foil. And when my turkey's cooking, when the turkey's done, it has to rest for 20 minutes anyway. Then I pop everything in the oven for that last 20 minutes. Okay, I do that too. I definitely make a few things ahead oh, of time. Oh, easy. You How have could to. you not? Yeah, no, I'll yeah. be I'll be doing a lot of stuff when I get home tonight. Me too. I'm gonna make a pie tonight and yeah. another souffle for tomorrow because well, I can't bring that home. No, that's going to go yeah. fast. <laughs>